let's get started. <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody, on a Wednesday night breaks. I'm Ryan with Sports Stuff Hub, and we are breaking baseball tonight. 2016 Panini Diamond Kings Pick Your Team Case Break. This is actually a half case, 12 box, because a master case has 24 box. This is a 12 box sealed half case. And again, I mentioned pick your team. So our participants have gotten their teams. And we are ready to break. <clears throat> so we are ready. I love Diamond Kings. Diamond Kings is a fun, fun product. There it is. The 12 boxes of Diamond Kings. same way much easier all right starting off where's my knife there it is welcome james sir james kingsip his brother sean got him hooked a couple months ago on a baseball break and the and the man comes back for more that's what i like to see it is very beautiful cards thank you very much james for joining us and we are off and running. I need to make sure I get stuff moved out of the way so nothing falls over. <laughs> Sorry guys, just don't want anything to get knocked over and potentially damage cards. <clears throat> Oop, where's my case? There it is. All right, so if you're unfamiliar with uh, 2016 Diamond Kings, there's your base cards. All right, so we get a uh, Felix Hernandez insert, Expressionists. We get a Jose Peraza rookie card and a Peter O'Brien rookie. Now, I'm going to probably fly through the base cards as normal because uh, there's a lot of base and a lot of inserts, so I'll probably fly through most of them fairly quickly unless I see a highlight of a... Um, um, a low numbered card or something like that. <clears throat> so, geez, come on. Good lord, that pack just got demolished. Uh, oh, you know what? While I'm thinking of it, one other thing. Uh, 2017 Museum Collection baseball comes out here shortly. Uh, I'm trying to get my hands, there's a, there's your mini cards as well, I'm trying to get my hands on some boxes for our uh, Master Box Challenges. <clears throat> I did not get my pre-order in in time for cases because when pre-order was happening was when we were having our internet issues. <clears throat> and our first, nope, that's just a variation, never mind Chris Bryant, thought maybe that was our first hit. Uh, but anyway, um, I did not get any cases on pre-order because we were having the internet issues at that time, and I didn't want to stick any of the wholesalers with additional product. First hit to the Washington Nationals, dual relic, auto, framed, parallel, Michael Taylor. This one is numbered out of 99, I believe I caught. Yes, it is. 57 of 99, Michael Taylor. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, uh, we will. Uh, I am gonna get my hands on a few boxes at least, so we can do some of the master box challenges that we like doing so much, and uh, <clears throat> that would be great because I'm looking forward to 2017 product as well. And here's a numbered out of 99, Ken Griffey Jr. framed parallel. So uh, we have some Master Box challenges on our list on our website currently. Don is waiting for contestants to fill to challenge him. 2016 Panini Diamond Kings. Or excuse me, not Panini Diamond Kings. 2016 Topps Museum Baseball. $85 to buy in. Can you win 
the final bonus mini box. We've had some really good stuff come out of them lately. And uh, Don is loving those. Oh, here's an artist proof, Honus Wagner. Not numbered, unfortunately. That'd be awesome to pull the one of one Honus Wagner. <clears throat> but uh, those uh, those Master Box challenges are a lot of fun. It's a it's a fun way to take a product that's normally fairly expensive because Diamond or uh, I keep wanting to say Diamond Kings um, uh, Museum Collection is a two hundred and thirty to two hundred and fifty roughly per box. There's another mini. And that one, actually, I think might be numbered. It is numbered out of 25. Wee Che Huang. And I just realized something, guys. I forgot to plug something in. Give me one second here to get it plugged in so we don't have any connectivity issues. My laptop is not stationary in here. <clears throat> there we go. Sorry if you ended up with a few seconds of lag. I didn't have all my stuff set up because I was so quick trying to get in here. Steven Piscotti, rookie. I was so quick trying to get everything set up in here, I didn't have my backup internet cable plugged in, which helps with our uh, which helps with our stream quality because it helps with our internet. And here we go, numbered out of 99, Elements of Royalty, Dual Relic, for the Brooklyn Dodges, Gil Hodges. Gil Hodges. So that's our two... That's our two first uh, first hits. We get a Frank Chance framed parallel. So these are all going to go, like I said, I'm going to be moving through the base cards fairly quick. <clears throat> and uh, there's a lot of base cards that come in this product. So I'll go through and sort all those out after everything's all said and done. If any of you guys have been in a Diamond Kings break with me before, um, welcome back, number one. But uh, number two, it's a lot of flipping cards. A lot of cards. Even, I mean, even just 12 boxes is a lot of damn cards. So um, it also takes me a little while to sort through because it's Panini. So I don't always know whether sometimes it's um, the Yankees or the Mets or the White Sox or Cubs because it's, sometimes it's tough to tell. There's a Todd Frazier Mini. Sometimes it's tough to tell on the card. There are some subtle differences between the two teams, but uh, <laughs> I have ended up shipping a couple of cards wrong in the past because uh, there's a Miguel Sano rookie variation uh, because, the, because I thought that they were the right color and I missed it apparently so <clears throat> all right all right hit number one for this box over to the Chicago Cubs Addison Russell dual relic auto numbered at a 99 framed parallel numbered at a 99 Because uh, Panini doesn't have the rights to uh, MLB, so uh, or the Players Association, so they can't put. Actually, I think they have rights to the Players Association. They don't have rights to the team logos or the team names, so that's why you don't see any team logos on any of their jerseys or hats or anything. Here's a Frankie uh, Frankie Frisch. Um, you don't get logos because they don't have rights to the MLB product so all they can put is Chicago New York Brooklyn you know whatever it is and then the player's name is all they can they can do so that is uh, that would be why but it's it's like that for all their products even immaculate immaculates the same way uh, they can't put 
the team name on even Immaculate, which is a higher end product. National Treasures, same thing. National Treasures is about the highest uh, product you can get for baseball. Uh, other than the, uh, <clears throat> what is it, Topps Dynasty. Um, what's the other one? The, the, the stupid, ridiculously high-end one that was like $20,000 a box or whatever it is. Outside of those. But Topps, because Topps has uh, exclusive rights to MLB, uh, they, they can put that stuff on there. But no, Panini doesn't have it. It's just like if Topps were to try to make football cards right now. Although, Topps doesn't even have rights to the NFLPA, so they can't even use their likeness. <clears throat> Hit number two for this box. Elements of Royalty. We're going back to another legend by the looks of it. Dual Relic for New York. Elston Howard, numbered out of 99. Elements of Royalty. New York. <clears throat> so two, two hits already for this box. So uh, sometimes you get a bonus. There's a Zach Lee framed rookie parallel. Uh, sometimes you get a bonus. I've actually had uh, quite a few cards out of uh, Diamond, or quite a few, excuse me, uh, boxes of Diamond Kings end up with a third hit, which is never something to complain about. <clears throat> And we get numbered out of 25, Heritage Collection, Jose Canseco. Numbered out of 25. All right, so that completes box number two in this case. Moving on to box number three. We'll talk to you later, Jordan. I will be live streaming again on Friday. If you're going to be around, I will be on Friday. Breaking honors on Friday. We moved it back so that a couple other people could jump on. Respond to a phone call. Send him a text that I'm a little tied up at the moment. Just, just a tad. Oh, Jesus! Cards are jumping all over the place on me tonight. Lou Gehrig. <clears throat> That's the ver photo variation. And our hit over to the Boston Red Sox. Dual Relic Auto Mookie Betts, numbered out of 299. Another one not bad to have. Boston Red Sox. The Bo Sox. <clears throat> Boom. And like I said, when we're done with this one, guys, stay tuned because we do have some more Contenders draft coming up. Uh, Don picked up a box. Or I should say is picking up a box. It's this box sitting right here in front of us. We've got two other boxes left if anybody is interested. 110 shipped. Once we break it, we ship you the cards. Saves uh, a little bit on shipping because it's uh, a little bit easier to ship cards than shipping the uh, the whole box. Even though these boxes are actually fairly small, so I could probably ship those for decent price. Do, 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 do. David Ortiz Mini. Should have our second hit for this box coming up in one of the next two packs. And we get a uh, another parallel heritage collection numbered out of 25. 
Brooks Robinson. Heritage Collection. Very cool. Numbered out of 25, so that's the second one. And then we get a uh, Ted Williams photo variation. Aficionado Chris Bryant, which I've seen a couple of Chris Bryants throughout this product. Already as far as uh, parallels and inserts. And we get another hit. Numbered out of 49. Mini framed parallel bat relic over to the Cleveland Indians Earl Averill numbered out of 49 very cool nice hit very nice hit frozen that's not good. Hang tight. I may not have had my settings on. Give me two seconds, guys. Okay, perfect. All right. <clears throat> it's up and running. Awesome. Okay, sorry about that. I had to just change something I because of when I was going uh, when I was going there. Uh, the last hit was Earl Averill mini framed bat relic number out of 49 for the Indians. Sorry, when I was in a hurry to get set up tonight, uh, I had to plug my laptop back in and I forgot to plug up my backup additional signal booster. And here's a Nolan Ryan framed blue parallel numbered out of 99. Nolan Ryan. Houston. 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 Alright, box number three down. Moving on to box number four. So we are a quarter of the way done. <clears throat> Alright, first box and we get our hit. Oh, Baltimore, numbered out of 10. Oh, man. Dual, relic, auto, numbered out of 10. Brooks Robinson. Wow. Numbered out of 10. Numbered 6 of 10, Baltimore Orioles. Get that to focus there. Can't get it to focus. There we go. Six of ten. Brooks Robinson. Elements of royalty. Dual relic auto. Kaboom! Kaboom! That's a big timer right there. Brooks Robinson. Very nice. Brad, welcome. Nice to see you on. Numbered out of 99, Cleveland Indians. Blue parallel, Corey Kluber. That is a beauty of a card. It's one thing I love about Diamond Kings with the 2015-2016 The Legends. They've got great stuff in here for Legends. Beautiful stuff.
Uh, numbered out of 25, artist proof photo variation. Joey Bats, Jose Bautista. Numbered out of 25. Very cool. Toronto, Toronto. Yeah, I'm glad you could make it too. Definitely, Brad. Definitely. <clears throat> and over to oh, uh, the photo variation, Joe DiMaggio. They're fooling with me again. Sometimes that photo variation card turned backwards gets me. It fools me. You'll see. I'll get fooled several times, I'm sure. Ooh, over to the Boston Red Sox, numbered out of 25, Yolan Moncada. Greg Frieders may be interested in this one, Don. Numbered out of 25, Dual Relic. Moncada. Second Boston hit. Very nice hit, Moncada. We're going to do, uh, like I said, we're going to set up some more Master Box challenges, guys. So make sure you're checking out that page as soon as 2017 Master Box, or excuse me, as soon as uh, 2017 Museum comes out, I'm going to be picking up some, some single boxes of it so we can do some Master Box challenges with 2017 as well. But in the meantime, get your spots into 2016 because we do have some boxes of that left. Uh, Brad, I know, is three for three in his last three challenges. Greg is, or, uh, um, Don is looking for some redemption. So Don's already in, waiting for his challengers. So if we can uh, fill those up for Friday, we'll do some Master Box challenges. I'm, I'm down to do as many as you guys want to jump into. And we get a Kyle Schwarber. Uh, photo variation as well. All right, so that is box number four down. We are a third done. And uh, and uh, again, guys, like I'll mention, uh, we're going to be getting heavier into pre-buying our boxes and cases, so we're going to be. Uh, making sure we are heavily watching upcoming product is Sean in this with the Indians and Reds yes Sean I'm guessing you are Sean charity Moro. <laughs> yes this break is the one there's an artist proof Chris Bryant not numbered though uh, yes this is the break though that uh, that Sean is in um, but as I was saying, guys, we are going to be monitoring upcoming product very closely, and we will be putting our pre-orders in well in advance to make sure that we have product available for you guys to buy as boxes or cases, depending on your prefer preference, on top of our case breaks. Mike Trout photo variation. <clears throat> so make sure you guys are watching that we're going to be probably listing that stuff here on the website shortly um and we will be doing pre-sales oh here we go number out of 99 rookie chicago cubs kyle schwarber mini relic framed parallel number out of 99 chicago cubs this second hit for the cubs Sean's watching your typing. Well, welcome, Charity. Tell Sean hello. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying is uh, we are going to be updating the website with pre-buy boxes and cases so you guys can see all that stuff. Also, we will be doing our 
damnedest to make sure that release dates are accurate so you guys can use our website for that and keep in mind we will be pumping out uh, we'll be pumping out our podcast starting uh, somewhere around preseason time for football so you guys will be seeing a podcast listed on our website as well uh, so hopefully you guys will be able to listen in on that uh, they won't be live podcasts obviously this is a nice case so far yes it is Don uh, especially for your guys <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, we will be having our podcast listed and you guys are going to be more than welcome to call in, chat, uh, live with us, all that kind of stuff. So, um, we will have that up sometime in preseason and, uh, I'll be, I know several of you have expressed interest in wanting to get online for that. And we get a mini, a mini hit non-framed numbered out of 99 Chicago Cubs again. Anthony Rizzo. So three hits for the Cubs. Mini Anthony Rizzo, numbered out of 99. And there is actually a good chance that that is a bonus hit uh, because every time I've gotten a bonus hit, it's usually been a mini. One, two, so we got two, four, six, eight, nine, ten would be the mini if that is the hit. And it does look like it. We get a spacer, so that it was actually the hit. So there we go. Ten hits so far. We are five boxes out of twelve in for this case. Okay, box number five. Let's see if we can't uh, see if we can't improve on what we have pulled already. It's been a very very good case so far. Let's hope that the uh, mojo keeps going. And here we go. For the Detroit Tigers, numbered 1 of 25, Artist Proof Photo Variation, Miguel Cabrera, Miggy. Very nice, very nice. Some of those uh, photo variations and artist proofs and stuff, those are nice cards. Some low numbers, good stuff. Like I said, this is all the reasons why Diamond Kings is one of my favorite baseball products. And a Joe DiMaggio photo variation. Not numbered, unfortunately. Here we go. Next hit. Dual Relic Auto Studio Portraits, Arizona Diamondbacks, Peter O'Brien, numbered out of 99. Peter O'Brien, Dual Relic Auto, Arizona Diamondbacks. Just saying, hopefully we don't end up with a finish to this case like we did the other one where the Diamondbacks just cleaned house the rest of the case. Because uh, I like having it spread out a little bit more. When you have five hits out of like 20, go to one team. Gets a little, uh, a little, little bit one-sided. Just a little. <clears throat> uh, 
Make sure you guys uh, check out the website for upcoming breaks. We are going to do honors NFL hit draft on Friday. We moved that back to Friday. Uh, we had a couple people asked to have it delayed so they could get in. So uh, $90 gets you into that break. One in 20 chance of winning the Russell Wilson rookie relic auto. Numbered out of 50. Tops triple threads. And a Chris Bryant photo variation. So that's a hit draft for honors. 20 hits. It works like fantasy football. If you've never been in a hit draft before, 20 hits. We break the case, randomize the list of our participants, draft the cards based off of the draft order. Ooh, numbered out of 99. Over to the Minnesota Twins. Diamond Deco Quad Relic. Byron Buxton. Minnesota Twins. Diamond Deco. I believe Diamond Decos are one per case. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure that's the case hit. That one, though, numbered out of 99. Unfortunately, not a nice one of one Chris Bryant like we pulled last fall. That was an impressive, impressive case of cards right there. That case contained a Joe Jackson dual relic numbered out of five, shoeless Joe Jackson, just so you guys know. Uh, and then that Chris Bryant one of one Diamond Deco quad patch. Beautiful, beautiful card, great case. Miguel Sano, photo variation rookie. <clears throat> So hopefully we can continue with the mojo we've had on this case and uh, land us a couple more nice low numbered. Here we go over to the Chi <laughs> over to the Chicago Cubs numbered out of twenty five dual relic Jorge Solar. Yeah, that case, uh, the first case we did of Diamond Kings was ridiculous. It's gonna, that's a tough one to duplicate, absolutely. Um, I don't know if I'll ever see another case of Diamond Kings that, uh, that good. It was, I mean, I've had some other good cases, but that one, ridiculous. Uh, there was a Jim Palmer auto out of 10 on top of the, uh, Joe Jackson and the Chris Bryant. So... Like I said, uh, quite a bit of heat came out of that case. <clears throat> Man, there was, I want to say total out of that case, there was five or six of the hits were numbered 25 or less. Here's a numbered out of 99 artist proof photo variation, Lefty Gomez. Yeah, like I said, that, that, first case of diamond kings was absolutely that set the bar high set the bar high about to slice my thumb open i was gonna say that was a sharp pack of cards to slice my thumb open josh donaldson mini black parallel numbered out of 25 or gray i think it's actually called or whatever it is but it's numbered out of 25 mini josh donaldson Another Chris Bryant photo variation. Another mini Freddie Freeman. One thing I will say, I kind of wish they would do with Diamond Kings. I wish they would shrink it down from 12 packs to 6 packs and just increase the amount of cards in the packs. I'd be okay with that. Okay. Numbered out of 10. Patch. New York Yankees. Billy Martin. Mini. Framed. Parallel. Patch. Billy Martin. Numbered out of 10. 
Old Yankees skipper right there. Nice two-color patch. Yankamese. Very nice Yankees hit right there. Billy Martin. Yeah, this case definitely is uh, has been solid. No doubt about that. And back over to New York. Framed parallel, numbered out of 99, Elston Howard. Last pack for this box. And we get the spacer. All right. That was box number 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, where we are correct. All right. Box number 7. Got a few teams left to get hits. We got several that's, uh, that have hit duplicates here, so let's get some wealth spread around. We got to get quite a few of you guys some hits. Nothing in that first pack. So one thing though, a Diamond King's Mail Day is always going to be a fat envelope for everybody involved. <laughs> Absolutely, the Mets. I'm you know, normally the Mets are actually pretty heavy in Diamond Kings. I'm surprised we haven't seen one yet. We got a Tom Yaki mini. The Mets usually do well in Diamond King, so uh, yes, yeah, so going through this far into a case and not even hitting one is is a little shocking. You get a Steven Piscotti rookie photo variation. And here we go over to the Toronto Blue Jays, numbered out of 25, dual relic, David Price. Boston, or excuse me, not Boston, he's Boston now, but Toronto Blue, or Toronto Blue Jays on that one. Did we have a Toronto, I don't believe we have hit Toronto yet. It doesn't appear, so. All right, Gabby. Okay, nothing in that one. Do, 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 do. That one is empty. Should have one hit left. Should be our auto coming up out of this. The next hit coming. And we get another Gabby Hartnett Artist Proof Photo Variation number out of 99. I'm drawing this last hit out deep into this box. Another mini of uh, Don Hoke. Oh, that was the right way up. Oh, he's doing a backflip, Ozzy Smith. All right, this could be this could be the hit right here, thicker pack, or it could just be a dummy spacer card. Mike Trout photo variation dummy card follows it. Two packs left in this box. This looks like it's the hit. I am correct. Over to the Washington Nationals, numbered out of ninety-nine. Dual Relic Framed Auto, Trey Turner. That kid's solid. That's a good hit right there, too. So Washington on the board with two, two hits in this case. All right. Michael Conforto. At least you get a Michael Conforto Framed Rookie. <clears throat> All right, so we are now two-thirds of the way done with this case. Doop, doop, doop. 
So that means two, four, six, eight hits left. Hopefully we can get one bonus. I wouldn't mind seeing a bonus hit come in here somewhere. He is. I, I do believe he will be solid. Um, I mean, he's a he's a great he's a very good player. Very good young talent. I think I might even. You know what, uh, James? We'll talk after this is done. I might have a couple of. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I do have a couple of his uh, of some rookie hits of his. If you're interested, I think I actually have a mini. The mini card relic of him from this product. I think it's numbered out of 99. I'll have to I'll have to dig for it. I'll send you a picture later. And there's another Michael Conforto. There's the uh, photo variation. Wish Sean. Hey guys. Uh, wish Sean Lawfer a happy birthday. It is after midnight in Ohio and. Uh, the 8th is his birthday, so happy birthday, Sean. Glad you could join us for uh, a birthday break. Hopefully now that it's your birthday, I can hit you something. And here we go over to the Houston Astros, number 9 of 99, dual relic framed parallel, Jose Altuve. Yes, Don, thank you. Uh, definitely, definitely replenishing my spacers i need that because i ship a lot of stuff i ship uh, i use spacers a lot uh, did we have a houston hit i don't think we did nope but uh, anyway guys uh, make sure you all wish sean a happy birthday uh sean david said uh, uh, excuse me don over on breakers tv says happy birthday oh boy here we go this is a base card guys but Numbered five of five. Over to the Chicago Cubs. Green framed parallel. Anthony Rizzo. The Cubs are raking it in today. Holy freaking crap. The Cubs. Dang. <laughs> Numbered five of five, Anthony Rizzo. Jeez. Now let's hope. Let's get let's get a five of five hit. Let's get something that low on a hit. Let's get the birthday boy something that low. Get him a Cleveland Indian. And numbered out of ninety nine, artist proof rookie photo variation, John Lamb. Yeah, see, Gypsy Queen's got some uh, got some uh, some fun parallels too. I like those. I'm not a big fan of the overall product for Gypsy Queen, uh, just because I'm not. I don't really like the uh, some of the oddball stuff they put in there. Oh, wow! Look at that. That's not cool. That card came out of the pack like that. Gabby Hartnett completely screwed the pooch on that card. Got a Honus Wagner mini. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, low number base cards, when they're actually something different to them than just being stamped, I like those. Those are fun. It's one of the reasons why I like Diamond King, because they do the different frames, all that kind of stuff. I, I do like the photo variations, the frames. It's cool stuff. And our next hit goes over to the Los Angeles Dodgers numbered out of 299 rookie dual relic auto Jose Parazza the Los Angeles Dodgers the Dodgers we got us a Dodger Michael Franco. All right, three boxes left, guys. Three. Three boxes, three boxes remaining.
And make sure, guys, if you are not already, which I believe all of you guys watching are subscribed to our YouTube channel, you get alerts when we go live. That way you don't always have to wait for my uh, alerts on Twitter or Facebook. Get alerts when we go live. See all the replays. We're trying to get replays posted a little faster now that we have a little bit different software format. It can be a little easier to get stuff reposted. Sometimes. Depends on... Depends on where I'm at and how good of an internet connection I have, if I'm at the office or where I'm at. But, we have over 300 breaks posted on our YouTube channel. My goal by the end of this year is to be over 500. Troy Tolowitzki Mini. But I think we're at a, just a hair under 170 for subscribers. I'd like to be up to 200 before the end of the year, uh, and not just uh, not just not just random subscribers. People who actually uh, watch. That's one of the things I don't. I'm not a big fan of is just getting followers for the sake sake of having followers. I like I like quality. I like quality. You guys are all quality, quality followers. Okay, over to Atlanta, numbered out of 49, framed dual relic, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman, Atlanta. The Braves. The home of the Braves. No Mets, no White Sox, no Indians. All right, numbered out of 99, blue frame parallel, Bob Turley, New York. All righty. We're getting down there for hits left. Oh, we got five left. Guaranteed five, I should say. Although we have been stiffed on by Diamond Kings in the past as well. There's an artist proof Bryce Harper. Not numbered on that one though. Photo variation, not numbered artist proof. So I wouldn't mind pulling another one on one Bryce Harper like we did out of Immaculate. That was pretty awesome. Bryce, not a bad player to pull. Steven Piscotti, photo variation rookie. The uh, yeah, the one thing with these with the base cards, the Chicago Cubs have a ton of base cards. The New York Yankees have a ton of base cards. All right, over to the Arizona Diamondbacks. Dual relic auto numbered out of 299, Peter O'Brien. This is what I was talking about with the Diamondbacks, guys. You get Diamondbacks and stuff like this, you're going to get two or three hits at least. That's just that's just how they stack the Diamond Kings. And most, actually most Panini products, and even several of the Tops ones now that I'm thinking about it, we had some pretty decent uh, 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 Diamondbacks breaks for Tops products. You get a Kyle Schwarber framed. Because we did um, Tops Tier 1 that had... I want to say five last year's tops tier one, so it's 2016 tops tier one, and I believe that had five Diamondbacks in it, and that was uh, tier one was God was it 30 hits in a case I think it was. So I mean it was having five hits out of 30 be one team is I mean, that's a fair fair amount for one. Although the Cubs have four four hits out of 24 so that's a quite a bit too all right over to brooklyn another one for gil hodges artist proof photo variation numbered out of 25 dodgers hitting another parallel i think that's like the third gil hodges out of this case
Gil Hodges. Lefty O'Doul Mini. We've got, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, we've got one, two, three, four. I think we've gotten at least four or five inserts base parallels along those lines, number 25 or less. Robbie Cano Expressionists. That's pretty awesome getting that many. Now we just need a few more hits to be numbered that low. Last couple have got to be. We got to pull some monsters here out of these last few. And here we go, numbered out of 99 for the Philadelphia Phillies. Limited Lithos Dual Relic, Aaron Nola. Numbered out of 99, Phillies with their first hit on the board. A Nola. That sounds bad. <laughs> A Nola. Mike Trout, red framed parallel. Reds are not numbered, just so you know. Blue is the first numbered sequential, numbered out of 99. Tons of rookie cards you guys will get. Tons of rookie cards, tons of parallels, tons of inserts. And hopefully, get a few of you guys some hits. Since we are so far, we have quite a few people that are hitless still. Yeah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four teams have hit multiples. There's another Michael Conforto photo variation. Rookie. Miguel Sano, Expressionists Rookie. We are getting down there, guys. And I think we have another mini hit over to the Seattle Mariners. Numbered out of 99, Cattell Marte. Numbered out of 99, Mini. Relic. It's a witty bitty card. Seattle Mariners on the board. Right on. One less hitless team. And number that in 99, San Francisco Giants blue parallel framed. Kelby Tomlinson. is it for that box last box of this case guys last one 12 box sealed inner case when I say inner case there's a master case that has 24 two half 12 box inner cases Come on, close up, close up. There we go. Good luck, guys. Get a couple of you guys some, some hits here. Two guaranteed hits left. Who is going to get them? Stake your claims now. Let's go, let's go. While we're breaking this last box, how many of you guys think that the Astros will finish the season strong? After starting as strong as they have. Is that? No, that one's for Dawn. There's still two boxes of contenders left. Dawn is grabbing that box. But that seems to be the common theme with the Astros. They either start strong 
and then have an epic collapse after the All-Star break, or they start like crap and finish really strong after the All-Star break. Okay, here we go, guys. Numbered out of 99, Mini, Relic, Framed Parallel, San Francisco Giants, Mad Bum, Madison Bumgardner. Mad Bum, Giants. Giants who were uh, one hit on the board, I thought. Maybe they weren't. That might be the first Giants hit. Right on. Okay, so another new team getting on the board. Yep, I'm opening Don's uh, after we're done here. So it sounds like two of you guys for sure thinking that the Mets are legit. Or not the Mets, excuse me. Sorry, I was just talking to uh, James. But uh, sounds like uh, uh, the, the Astros are legit. Uh, here's a blue framed parallel Garrett Richards numbered out of 99. Uh, but yes, David, I'm opening Don's box live uh, after our Diamond Kings break. One, one hit left. See, I'm not sure if uh, if they. I mean, I, I know they got a good a good core of guys, but they've you know I mean the guys who are playing well for them have been there the last couple of years. So I mean. Are they due for a collapse still? I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, numbered out of 99, Artist Proof, Photo Variation, Goose Goslin. Um, but no, right now, uh, I don't see anybody catching them in the West. Uh, I mean, I think the Angels are number two right now, and they're, what, 14 games back? And then the Mariners are right behind them at, I think, 15 games back. So... I don't know if anybody's going to catch them. Uh, I guess the more question would be, are the Astros going to make a playoff run? Or are they going to be a one and done? One round and done? So that would be what I would probably have to ask right now. But, you know, being a homer, um, the, uh, the Mariners have won seven of their last eight. And uh, they're right now losing to the to the Twins five to four in the bottom of the eighth. So if they can pull this off, eight of the last nine, not bad. And back over to the Arizona Diamondbacks to close out the last guaranteed hit of this break. Peter O'Brien, dual relic framed parallel auto. Peter O'Brien, Arizona Diamondbacks. I do believe, yes, Don, I do believe they probably need another starter. Yep, I would agree with that. And the last pack for this case, Stephen Piscotti, framed rookie. All right, so that was our Pick Your Team case break of 2016 Panini Diamond Kings, guys. Congrats to those of you that hit. Great job, and uh, we're going to break a little bit more here in a second i'm going to move on to a box of contenders for dawn give me one second here i'm gonna i'm gonna go grab something yep third auto of him in that case peter o'brien seems to be fairly